There have been mixed reactions to the sentencing of convicted killer Roshan Barnett. Barnett, who murdered five people in a gruesome attack, will have to spend close to 62 years behind bars before he's eligible for parole. Now, residents and family members from Cocoa Peace Clarendon, where the gruesome killings happened, have been reacting. Their take in just a moment. But first, Raquel Porter was in court and filed this report. Justice Leighton Pusey struggled to find adjectives to describe the gruesome murder of Kimisha Wright and her four children in Cocoa Peace, Clarendon. The confessed murderer, Roshane Barnett, will have to spend 61 years and eight months behind bars before he's eligible for parole. Pointing to some of the aggravating factors, Justice Pusey described the June 21 attack as direct viciousness. The attack was contemplated ahead of time, that the accused told someone that he was going to kill some people. And also in his caution statement, he indicated that he came to the conclusion that Miss Wright was looking at him away, and so therefore he acted. Fifthly, his lack of remorse was commented on both by the psychiatrist and the social worker who interviewed him. In the social inquiry report, his claim to disbelieve upon contemplation of his disbehavior flies in the face of his generally nonchalant disposition while being interviewed, as well as his expressed fr frustration in being, quote, tired of the questions. All told, his mannerism was not indicative of one who possessed a full appreciation of the magnitude of his act and the devastation caused, and does not appear to be remorseful concerning the same. Noting the mitigating factors in the case, Justice Pusey said the circumstances do not call for Barnett to be given a discount in sentencing despite his early guilty plea. There was ample compelling evidence pointed to the accused. He was a person of interest almost immediately after the bodies were found. Clothing and a knife were discarded near the scene, and even before forensic tests could link him to the event, event um, he was, as I say, a person of interest, and he was the one who had been living with that family. Secondly, the brutal nature of the offense means that any discount would bring a sentence that this court would give below what I would think would be a fair and appropriate sentence. And in those circumstances, I would not give a discount. And finally, the third reason is that the fact that the death penalty is no longer being considered is a significant benefit for this accused. Justice Pusey emphasized that he made a concerted effort not to mention the name of the convict as it is important to remember Kamisha Wright as an ambitious and generous woman. These persons, Ms. Wright in particular, from the victim impact statement and other things, was significant as a woman, a young woman, who was looking after her four children and also studying and finding time to run a shop at the time. These three children, Commander, Shara Lee and Rafaela, would have been in school and had their own hopes and dreams. The information from their father indicate that the possibility was being looked into for them joining him overseas in other places. 